Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda Kelly, Director of Product at Snowflake. Today, we're going to illustrate some real data engineering problems and see how Snowflake can help simplify that for a global concert and festival company. Now, this company handles diverse data, including structured data, like sensitive customer PII in Postgres inside of VPC, and unstructured data, like phone calls, PDFs, and images in SharePoint. Now, this presents a few challenges already. PII in a VPC demands a highly controlled integration pipeline, but that often means a tough trade-off between control and simplicity. Multimodal data adds another layer of complexity. Each type has its own structure, property, and pattern, but we need a simple, flexible pipeline that can handle it all and make it AI ready. So in the next couple of minutes, we will walk through how we leverage Snowflake for data engineering to not only build and perform ETL, but also deploy the pipelines and activate the data. Okay, let's start with how Snowflake OpenFlow makes this easy. We'll start with OpenFlow from SnowSite. From the connector menu, I can see the feature connectors such as Postgres and SharePoint. Now, there are a lot more connectors available out of the box, and it's not just about bringing data into Snowflake. We can also set targets to other destinations and persist open data formats, such as Apache Iceberg, to fully facilitate interoperability. If you need a custom connector, you can easily build your own with Snowflake and Apache NiFi processors. All right, we've already set up the connections, and we can see them here in OpenFlow. Notice these three runtimes. Two of them are running in our own VPC in AWS. With this deployment option, we can run integration closer to the source without opening up holes in the firewall, and we still get the full power of OpenFlow as a managed service. For other connections, we can run them even more easily by directly deploying with Snowflake using Snowpark Container Services, or SPCS. All of the integration services are managed by OpenFlow, but can be executed in different deployments, giving us simplicity and control, no trade-offs. All right, let's dive into the Postgres connector. We can see the initial snapshot, the incremental loads, and we can see change data being captured every five minutes. OpenFlow includes built-in data provenance and observability, so every step is tracked and auditable. All right, so we've set the CDC pipelines to populate two raw tables, events and ticket sales. We can see that the CDC pipeline is already running and populating the events table. Let's check the ticket one as well. Yeah. And just like that, it's easy to go straight from pipeline to data. Now that we have the data loaded, we can transform it using powerful capabilities like Snowpark and dynamic tables. However, building data models is just the tip of the iceberg no pun intended. Deploying data models can be surprisingly challenging with issues like dependency management and data quality. These complexities lead to sprawling systems and painful debugging processes. That's why DBT is a really popular open source project. And now you can run DBT projects natively in Snowflake, no extra setup required. Let's take a look. Okay, here we are in a workspace. It's a lightweight development environment for authoring, organizing, and managing all your code artifacts in Snowflake. And you've already seen it. That side-by-side -side CDC tables from the OpenFlow demo, that was in a workspace. All right, so here we can create or import DBT projects, then edit, test, and deploy them. I've already imported and compiled a DBT project, but starting a new one is just as easy. We can see the project YAML, the DBT project file, data sources, including the raw tables from the CDC pipelines, the data models, and logs. Now, in DBT projects, we can also make edits, compare changes side by side, and push directly to Git. All right, let's hit run on this project to get it started. Now, you might be wondering where this DBT project runs. Typically, we design a warehouse, but that can get tricky sometimes. And that's where Adaptive Warehouses comes in. With an Adaptive Warehouse, Snowflake automatically selects and scales right-sized compute resources with intelligent routing. This further eliminates complexities and maximizes efficiency. Data engineers can focus on data and pipelines and leave Snowflake to optimize the infrastructure intelligently. Zero ops data engineering. Okay, looks like this run is complete. 
we can see the new files and views created directly from the interactive DAG here. So, with DBT projects, Snowflake brings the best breed of open source tools to you, the ones you already love, to where your data is, all in one platform. Now that we've ingested and prepared the structured data, what about the unstructured data? Let's hop to the SharePoint connector. Here, the SharePoint connector, we get a solution to not only extract and load, but transform and activate the data. The processors are using Snowflake Cortex LLMs to parse and chunk the PDF, all with just a few clicks. We can also easily customize this integration by choosing different processors. All right, let's take a look at the populated table in SnowSight. All right. And just like that, we've built an integration from SharePoint directly to Snowflake and landed the PDF in table formats, even with change data capture. Okay, let's wrap it up. In a few minutes, we were able to connect to any data source and any target using Snowflake OpenFlow with the flexibility to customize and extend. We deployed and executed pipelines inside of VPC or via Snowpark Container Services, both options with services managed by Snowflake balancing control with simplicity. We bridge the gap from building to deployment by leveraging DBT projects natively in Snowflake, making it easy to view, create, edit, change, and monitor pipelines. And we even tackled AI-ready data using OpenFlow's unstructured data connector with AI-enabled parsing and chunking built into the ETL pipelines, all on one unified, managed platform that's easy, connected, and trusted. Snowflake has been known for unifying data, and now we are taking it a step further by bringing the best of breed tooling from other open source projects and making them available directly in Snowflake. So data engineers can keep doing what they love and collaborate even more with data connected and accessible to all for now and for the future. With that, thank you for watching this demo. You can find more resources in the description to learn more about Snowflake for data engineering.